Chicken Coop Chronicles. Hello, hello. I'm going to let all the ladies out and the unknowns, the little ones, they've gotten so big. Can you see that? See how big they are? My goodness. Now, poor Autumn over here, she has been broody. And the other day, I stuck a couple of the chicks underneath her. And that seemed to break the broodiness, which is great. But then she got broody again today, and she had an egg that had broken underneath her. And so she was covered, covered with egg yolk and stuff. So I took her inside, and I'm sorry I didn't film it for all of you. Took her inside, washed her off, brought her back out. She seems to be feeling better now. But it's late in the day, and I usually let them out in the afternoon, but today it was raining in the afternoon, so I'm going to let them out now. Hello, hello. Come on, come on out. Look at the rush. They're all so jealous of their freedom. Outsie, outsie. Come, Sophia. Good girl. Now let's see where the little ones are. And look at them. Now, is it dangerous for me to let them out of the run? Definitely. Definitely is. Hawks can come. It's a nice clear day. Hawks could come and land and pick them up. Foxes. They are in a fenced in area, but I have a tree down that destroyed part of the fence. So there's fox, hawks, raccoons, all sorts of predators out there. But my chickens are free range chickens. And that's part of the equation of life. Speckles, you see, sidling up towards them. She has been a little aggressive towards them, viciously pecking them in the back. But she's also a little bit on the downside in terms of pecking order with the rest of the hens. So she's trying to put herself on the upper side of somebody, and I, I understand. Now you see how she's walking? She's lifting her feet really high. Could be two things. She could be having egg problems, or she could be just trying to wade her way through an uncomfortably deep area. And as you can see, that's kind of deep. It's got all these sticks and twigs and stuff. And now she's walking pretty normally in the not in the bare area. So I think it's just that she's a cautious stepper. And over here you see Missy, a little banty running alongside the fence. And I don't know if you could hear that. That cluck, cluck, cluck was somebody over here saying I found something useful. I think it's Autumn. Yep, that's Autumn. She's cluck, cluck, clucking like she's got hens in tow, chicks in tow. And she kind of does. See, Blackie just came up to her to pick up what she was picking up. So that Blackie is her daughter, actually. And Matron Autumn is still a mom. Such a good little hen. Autumn's a very good hen. Well, the gardeners are out, and I shall let them garden. Let's take one more look at the little fledgling gardeners. Hey, Speckles. It's okay, Speckles. Speckles is quite shy. It's okay, Speckles. It's a good lady. Let's go take a look at the fledglings. They're hiding in this tall growth because it's safer. They're less likely to be spotted from hawks and they're more likely to be able to hide from other predators as well. So they're smart little things, and they're scritching and scratching in the higher growth. And that's part of the reason I left that little patch of higher growth when I mowed this area. There you have it, Chicken Coop Chronicles.